Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my personal Leatherman Tread setup. So I know in my last video, I said that the Leatherman Signal is probably one of the most unique Leatherman tools out there, and it definitely is, but it's probably one of the most unique traditional form Leatherman tools, as in a plier-based Leatherman. The Leatherman Tread, on the other hand, is not a traditional form Leatherman, and uh, as you can probably tell, it's really unique compared to the rest of the Leatherman lineup. The purpose of the Tread was to make a tool that was basically basically safe and legal everywhere, including uh, going on airplanes and passing through security. At first glance, the tread just looks like a regular chain bracelet, but upon further inspection, you can see that there are various bits and drivers on the tool itself, and to use it is really cool. You first, you gotta unclasp the tread, uh, take it off your wrist, and then let's say you want to use a flathead screwdriver right here. Uh, you basically find that uh, tool that you want, grip it like this, grip the tread like this, and then use it as a screwdriver. Same goes for any of the box wrenches included on the front side of the tread. Uh, if you want this box wrench, uh, you grip it like this, and then use it like that. It's really cool, probably one of the coolest form factors for any multi-tool that I've ever seen. Definitely one of the most unique multi-tools on the market. And then you could also uh, get it in another grip. Let's say you want to use this same box wrench, but you could also grip it like this, uh, attach to whatever um, nut or bolt you want to unscrew, and then do it like that, get some more torque. Definitely really cool. So in this video, I want to go over my personal Leatherman tread setup, uh, how it was carrying it as an EDC item, or more like a fashion accessory, and uh, what people think of it, and how I use it, and why I chose this particular setup. Now before we dive deeper into my tread setup, let's do a small little size comparison. Uh, this is going to be different from my regular size comparisons because of how unique this tool is. First, we'll compare it to my uh, favorite EDC Leatherman tool, the Free P2. It's always in my pocket unless I'm in an area where I can't have a knife blade. Um, the tread right here, um, obviously it is fit to size my smaller wrist, so it might not be as big as your personal tread. But as you can see, uh, it's relatively the same in terms of just the outline. Obviously, you can't really compare thickness. But yeah, I mean, of course, I had to do a small comparison with another Leatherman tool. I guess a better comparison would be to compare it to my Garmin Instinct watch. Uh, this is my favorite go-to smartwatch slash fitness tracker. Here, let me open up the tread to maybe have a better comparison. Obviously, it's not as spread out as the watch, but uh, it's relatively the same. There are aftermarket parts that would allow me to attach the tread to the Instinct or any other smartwatch, but I personally like the Instinct bands better, and I don't always want the heavy metal tread links on me when I'm like doing physical activity, and uh, sometimes I'm just not carrying the tread. And for the last size comparison, I'll throw it up against a ruler. Uh, I'll open it up. Again, it's going to be different from your personal tread depending on how big your wrists are and uh, the amount of links you use. I'm just trying to fan it out. It's about like four, four and a half inches long. I guess the biggest thing would be to measure the uh, width of it. As you can see from screw to screw, it is a little bit over an inch. It's like almost an inch and a quarter. So first, this actually isn't a regular Leatherman tread. There are various Leatherman tread models. There's the regular tread. There is the LT model, which is basically a thinner, more lightweight version of the tread. And then there is the tread tempo variants. Uh, this actually is is the tread tempo. It did in fact come with that Swiss made timepiece. Uh, this timepiece, uh, I mean, I'm not a big watch guy or anything, but it is Swiss made. It does have a sapphire crystal. It's quartz movement. It's not automatic, but it's pretty solid for what it is. Uh, changing the time and day is pretty easy. You also got uh, glow in the dark hands and time indicators. And what's cool about the watch face is that uh, it also has another tool built in. It's both a flathead screwdriver and a file. As you can see, the file's right here. You can file your nails, maybe even do some light work on wood or metal, but obviously it's not the most hard use file. And then the flathead screwdriver, you could use it as a standard screwdriver, but it's also meant to be the link tool. If you want to add or remove links, uh, it's the perfect size for the screws on the Leatherman tread links. Here, let me just demonstrate it. See, 
very easy, very simple. Uh, the link tool will always be attached uh, if you do have the watch on you. But uh, I personally don't really care for uh, the watch. I mostly cared about the tool set that came on the Tread Tempo in contrast to the standard Leatherman Tread model. Uh, so for me, I got rid of the watch and filled in the spaces with other various uh, tread links. Speaking of which, the tread does come with more than an adequate amount of links. So you can swap them in and out uh, of whatever tool set that you want. And it also comes with uh, extra hardware for said links. I'll admit right now, my wrists aren't really that big, so I don't have that many links as a guy with a bigger wrist would be able to have in order to keep the tool as tight as possible. So I removed the adequate amount of links, chose which ones I wanted, and yeah, that's my setup. So after I realized I didn't really care too much for the Swiss timepiece, uh, I was wondering if I should possibly return or sell this tread and get a regular one, but then I realized I actually prefer this band over the regular Leatherman tread. It's actually different than the standard tread and it's not just including the watch. The regular tread has a different clasp and tool system in the clasp. The uh, tread tempo, uh, in terms of the clasp, it actually has uh, a built-in quarter inch socket adapter, which is really cool. I haven't used it yet, but I think that is a really cool tool to have on you. It, oh, it's kind of weird, like this is meant to be a uh, travel friendly and very compact and like I don't know if you'd have a socket set on you but I mean it's there if you do need it and uh, what I really like is that it also has a safety cutter. Uh, I know the regular tread also has the safety cutter and it's built in with the SIM tool. Uh, the tread tempo does not have a SIM tool but that's okay. Uh, the safety cutter obviously this is very small. It can easily pass through security. It's very unassuming and it's safe so you can't really use it as a weapon but I have used this before it is very sharp and it is very effective for those precise cuts another thing that it has here is a scribe slash glass breaker it's a very pointy tip it's hard uh, you can do some markings on wood or metal and then as I also said it's also a glass breaker so if you grip it appropriately here let me there you go you grip it like this and bash it into a window, you will have to use force. Uh, you can uh, use it as a rescue or escape tool. And one of the coolest tools on the Leatherman Tread Tempo is its bottle opener. The standard tread, in order to use the bottle opener, you have to take it off and the bottle opener is like built into the side and you gotta do this. But for the Tread Tempo, uh, the bottle opener is much cooler. You actually need to use it while you're wearing it. Uh, you put it on like here bottle openers right there um, put your wrist over the bottle and pop it off it's a really cool party trick and I love the form factor of the bottle opener everyone's always amazed whenever I open a bottle with my wrist they're like oh did you use your watch or something and I was like no I got a multi-tool on my wrist and it's pretty funny so as I said earlier on in the video the point of this multi-tool was to be a multi-tool that could go anywhere including areas where multi-tools are generally prohibited due to their knife blade uh, this tool is very unassuming at first glance it just looks like a fashion accessory they think oh cool he's got a cool bracelet on uh, what type of bracelet is it but then I always show them that it's actually a multi-tool on your wrist and it's safe to go everywhere I've brought this in places where um, multi-tools aren't allowed I brought it to airports I brought it to stadiums and it's passed through all the time no, absolutely no problem and yeah it's also a great conversation starter a lot of people uh, when they see it they think it looks cool and they think it's even cooler once I explain it to them uh, that's in fact a multi-tool and uh, I mean I really love the form factor I mean a wearable multi-tool is just one of the coolest things ever and I'm really surprised that the tread hasn't done that well over the years currently right now on Leatherman's website they have a closeout sale for all of the Leatherman tread models uh, I think all of them are 60% off right now and uh, unfortunately I think that means they're kind of discontinuing it at that discount 
discount. Like, I, I don't think they ever do discounts at all for like regular people with the exceptions of like first responder or student discounts. Uh, they, they never really have any sales unless a model isn't doing well and they need to get rid of them. So it's a shame to see that the tread is basically getting discontinued. Uh, I might be wrong. Maybe they're going to revamp the tread line, but it's a shame that it looks like it's going to be discontinued because this tool is really cool. It's one of the most unique Leatherman tools out there. Uh, it's basically a toolbox on your wrist uh, that can go anywhere. And I mean, how cool is that? So what do you guys think of this very unique multi-tool? Uh, as you can probably tell, I really love it and I'm really sad that they're probably discontinuing it. Uh, I definitely recommend jumping on the train right now if you're interested. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.